Ah, oh, a rock. You. <laughs> Terrifying, mate. This is fantastic. This is not fantastic. <laughs> I've been thinking about getting a boat. The Garys topped up their fuel before we set off, but... Will we get there? Would this be enough <laughs> to make the 150 kilometres back to Mittagong? Does he realise he's boot on Oh, he does now. And then we'll get going. And then he'll realise his GoPro's not going. Very elegant, that, isn't it? It's like watching a ballerina put on her ballet shoes. Graceful, some might call it. Human male, prime of his fitness. Limber, graceful, talented, coordinated, speedy. Here we go, here we go. He's ready. Beautiful. It was time to leave Yerindiri Ghost Town and head back home. This is the alternative government campground. Route recalculated. Distance 144 kilometers, time is 3 hours 40 minutes. 144 k's, 3 hours 45 minutes to Mittagong. Uh, we're taking the Kulong stock route as we did in, but then two thirds of the way along that, there is on the left, we'll find the range fire trail down to Lang Road, which is unknown if it's open or closed at the moment, and then down through to Wombian Caves over Goodman's Ford, through Wollandilly, out to Mittagong. And that's where the closest fuel station is. So Matt and I got pretty good range on ours. So we're looking at about 245Ks since we filled up yesterday. So 100Ks in. So we've chewed up 100Ks already. The Garys have put some fuel into theirs. So we had five liters, so we put about two and a half liters in each their bikes, which may get us all the way to Mittagong. May. If it doesn't, then we have a siphon hose and we'll pull a little bit out of mine and Matt's. That's the plan for today. Yo, yo. Yo. Oh, hey. It's always just, I'm listening to music and I think, oh, hang on a second, Bird might be there. <laughs> I'll just call Bird. And uh, there you are. Good. I am here. We did the last time we went this one, didn't we? Slowly, slowly, cut to make you one. It's either slow and specific or momentum. Yeah, I've got this theory now that more momentum means bigger crash. <laughs> okay, so I was just checking to see where reserve is, just so I know. Where to flick it. Where to flick it. Have you got a gauge? No. Right. Lime Burners Fire Trail. That was the other one that was going to save us 10Ks. 
Yeah, line burners, there it is. Blocked. Yeah, it looks pretty bloody closed, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty rough and is actually closed. So. <sighs> oh, I wouldn't mind having a drink. Mm. Lie burn. Oh, wait. Just ran across. Oh, wait. Liebird ran across the track. Oh, there goes again. Another one. Are you wow. putting it on reserve, GT? Oh, yeah, they're pretty serious, but they say they want line burn as close. Dark clouds approaching. Shadows on the storm. <laughs> <laughs> 60k so far today, 84.1 kilometres to go to get to Mittagong. Um, I'm on about two thirds of a tank, most about the same. It's the two Garys that are going to have a little bit less. We don't know until they haven't got a gauger, so it's just once they hit reserve, then we'll start to think about it. We might even get all the way there. <sighs> it's actually almost as peaceful for me being out in front when I'm in no hurry, when you guys aren't, haven't caught me, because I don't feel any pressure. It's quite interesting. I either like being just behind someone cruising or way out in front with no one, um, me not putting pressure on myself. Well, when a whole mud's covered in, the whole road is covered in mud, there's no, like, you can't pick your way around it. Yeah, so there's no you point get... looking down then. Uh, oh, that's beautiful. Put your camera on. Turning now onto Langs Road, we encounter now one of the biggest challenges for the day. Gary went in search for a way around. So, strategically, how are you going to get around this? Holy shit. <laughs> GoPro, start recording. There's also that left channel. Oh, he's dropped it. Ah, oh, a rock. Just trying to get over a log. Oh, was it the rock? Oh, I reckon you hit the rock. It felt really slippery. It was like... <laughs> so what's that track there? <laughs> trying to fall over this. Your lights are on. Oh, shit. This looks better up here, eh? Yeah, until you get to here. Guys is on the right path, I reckon. Yeah, it's either that or you actually just walk it through the, not walk it, but just, you know, like we did the other one, just take it really slow through one of the tracks. I prefer to come up here. Because if you slip and you put, like, put your foot in a hole and you fall, that's you've got to pick the fucking thing up. Oh, that's night and that and that. No, no way. like a reasonable amount of grip actually it didn't drop it didn't dig in there I mean, worst comes to worst, we can push. Well, I'm happy to push you through like prefer to do that than pick up a bike well you go through it first because you got less grip yeah all right Saved it. Spinning like crazy back there? Not as much as you are. Still spinning, yeah. Where do I go now?
Whoa, months of only average just sinking into the... We're better off leaning against the tree. Quick, 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 quick. Oh. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. Nah, I'm just going to set this up and then go through. Rip into it. Oh, tidy. Oh. This mud. Sick of it. <laughs> so, this is about being a fat old man who's unfit. Who's unfit. Adventure biking type Definitely had an adventure. Did you? Were you recording my last graceful stack? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Elaine, you will watch it and laugh. <laughs> Why don't you just keep the bike upright? Yeah, yeah you just let it drop, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, packing a little bit lighter. Yeah. Like every extra kilo I've got sitting up that high. Yep. When it's something like that where I can barely touch the ground as it is, yep. it makes a huge difference. 100%. You know, you had a little enduro bike with not much on it, you yeah. can just throw it around and drop it as many times as you want. You're not even afraid to drop it, you just throw it. Yeah, you just jump off it. Man, I would have just jumped over that mud pit if I had an enduro bike. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I was so close to dropping it then. Yeah, that I can hear you. came and saved me. If there's driveways, it must mean we're on we've finished the National Park because that sign well yeah actually say, we just rode past the sign which said Blue Mountains National Park going back towards the way we came yeah so we're now officially out of the woods <laughs> oh right how's that for a house yeah god you'd never get tired of that vista would you nah and it had changed so much from like full sun to full cloud to rain to wispy cloud watching the storm roll in and yeah and want to roll out again. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, they're out to the left there. Oh, GoPro 1 up here. Look at this. Just riding off into the mountain. There's your thumbnail. Oh, look at that view. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I don't want to be concentrating on riding, I want to be looking. I know, I've got to look at the road. Oh, wow. This is where you need to have that drone, you can like have it strapped to the top of your helmet and you can launch it by voice command. Just press, yeah, press a button then. Drone, fly. Fly to the left and record me. How many more canes are we in the medical? Uh, we're turning left now. Yep. Still 62 k's. Wow, you can see oh. yeah, so these are the new bits that they've been fixing. Hey, holy, to be honest, mud, big corners, big drop off, not happy there. What do you mean? This is fantastic. This is like the ultimate. People dream of stuff like this. So you're saying you don't want to do like one of those roads in Nepal or you know where it's... I have just realised that I do not want to do one of those roads in Nepal at all. <laughs> <laughs> in fact if you even said to me let's do one I'd have nightmares. <laughs> just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah so here's all the bits they've been fixing. Yeah here's the bit. So you can see it's just not quite They've obviously halfway through fixing it. I don't even understand how this can be a road. I feel like a mountain goat. 
<laughs> How does someone allow this? I know, this is just crazy. Imagine if this was your daily commute. Okay. But well, you'd probably be quite comfortable with it. Yeah. Well, it's, there'd be a point where you get too comfortable with it. Yeah, maybe. Oh, holy shit, Paul. Look at those cliffs. You look at the cliffs to the right, they're beautiful. You look at to the left and they're scary as all. Don't look at the ones to the left. No, I'm not. <laughs> I had a glance at them and then oh, I was just like, that. oh my god. Oh, yeah, shit, Paul. Don't look down there. Oh! I thought we got past the f worst part of this trip. This is. Oh my god. What do you mean? This is the best part. Best part? Oh, you know, I love all the roller coasters and the thrill-seeking rides at all the park. This is f***ing terrible. See, I'm the opposite. I cannot do the roller coasters because someone else is in control. And oh. I can't change, like I can't brake when I want to brake. I can't, you know. So I, I don't like, I hate the roller coasters. But this I love. Uh, roller coasters, I know, particularly if it's somewhere reputable. They're looked after, they're serviced, they're checked, they're designed within an inch of their lives. <laughs> this! I don't think anyone designed this. <laughs> Goat designed this. Cows designed it. Oh my god. If I wasn't so shit scared, this would be beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay. In the dry, I'd be reasonably happy with this road. I am far from happy. <laughs> it's, it looks uh, so spectacular with the mist and everything. Oh, 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 I was heading towards the shrubs then. Oh, this is not fun. <laughs> this is not fun. Left side's easier. At least the road's cambering the right way. <laughs> I don't want to let you mow first past. Almost sealed. <laughs> Some other bike marks in the road. <laughs> this is terrifying, Bert. This is fantastic. It's not fantastic. <laughs> in the slightest. Oh my f God, this mud. <laughs> Matt's you better see my asshole clenched up from where you are. Matt's really enjoying himself. Matt's yeah. Not enjoying himself. <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> <laughs> that is <f> horrible. <laughs> oh my God. How are you not enjoying that? It's beautiful vista and this lovely atmosphere created by the rain and yeah, you get to slide around in the mud. Like, what's not to love? All I'm calculating my whole time is if I jump off the bike now, will I stay up on this road? <laughs> it's my whole time. That's all I'm thinking. Bike can be gone as long as I don't fucking go with it. Yeah. I was not happy. Not happy at all, Burn. <laughs> The funny thing is, is you're going to do it all again in the future, yeah. I don't know if I ever will do this road in the rain again in the future, Burn. In the rain, yeah. I think I'll be going back to Oberon. Great idea coming this way. Huh? I love it. Good. I love this, this different, the different road, you know. It's, it's beautiful. Great. Coming down here, it's like you, you know, you see overseas shots when there's a, a, a hillside like that. And they've cut a road in. Yeah. And, yeah. and you go, man. Imagine going along there. It's almost like that. It is? Yeah. There's one bit with these big cliffs on the right. I was like, look at that. They're so vertical. That's beautiful. Then I looked down to the left and went, it's still vertical. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's got too much, too long. As I hit a mud, pot, mud thing. Oh my god. I was just get this over and done with. It's like going to the dentist. I just want to done. <laughs> Alright. How that's much more have we got, Bird? What, what's the next destination? What's the next. Oh, uh, yeah, the. Goodman's Ford is is actually quite close. How far is that? Oh, hang on, my phone's got water all over it. Goodman's Ford is where.
the campground is. And um, from memory, it's it's much much easier from there. Yeah, it is. It's not pretty flat. You drive a car from there. Um, and all yeah. Start poking along. See you guys, Captain. All right. So yeah, I think it's it's 56 k's to Mittagong. From here. From here. Oh, okay. Well, I think we'll soon be at the Ford because it's still a fair distance from the campsite to yep. like 30 k's or something. Maybe. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's, it looks as though it's about 10 k's to to there so yeah i think you're, you're right Cars coming, boys. No one working because it's raining. Oh, come on, Matt. What the f am I driving into the mud? Because you looked at it. Yeah, I Stop know. Stop looking at it. Oh. I swear you look at every single pothole. <laughs> <laughs> I like potholes. They clean my boots. <laughs> Holy, that's a lot of water. Isn't it? Oh, this is a photo in the middle of this one. Oh, oh, oh there is wow. something water over it. I've never seen it with water on it. Oh, me. That is awesome. But at least if we fall off this one, like you're not going to get swept down the river, right? No, no, it's all concrete underneath. Like, it'll be easy. It's just that I, I've never seen it with water over the top. It's right on the ledge. <laughs> right on the <laughs> edge, Gary. Ha, ha, right on. Yeah, that's all solid concrete, so... Yeah, once you're on it, it's perfectly fine. Oh, it's got three. Huh? Oh, it's got three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd only be 10 centimetres deep at the most. Yeah. What's, What's this first bit like? Yeah, it looks a bit broken up, but I reckon where Gary is there on the right looks like the way to go. Oh, we can watch this guy go through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just going to move out of the way. <laughs> yeah. It's not that deep, but. Yeah, right. Easy peasy. You still got GoPro power? Little bit. You ready? Yep. You good? Yep, go. I've been thinking about getting a boat. Oh, me. <laughs> this is unreal. This is oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my boots are clean. <laughs> That's the only downside of that is it cleaned the bikes. Oh, I'm all dirt. Oh my god. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm so over it. This should be much easier. Should be. What is this? What hey. is this stuff? I know. Oh, I'm breathing. It's like. <gasps> when was the last time we saw this stuff? <laughs> does Don't that? Die. Does this mean that this story is now sealed? Is now what? Sealed. Like finished. Complete. Oh, right. I see what you're doing there. We sealed. Story. <laughs> You've been thinking about that for a while? Yeah. <laughs> good 20 k's or so. Now I can kind of enjoy the view a little bit more. <laughs> Halfway down that hill I was thinking, I could just camp here. I've got enough food. <laughs> I'd last a couple of days until it dried out. <laughs> or until someone came and got me with a four-wheel drive in a truck.
trailer. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Uh, Is that called Wallandilly Camp? What's that? Yeah. Wallandilly River Station. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Obviously. Yeah. This We've stayed there a few times. Uh, weren't we? Huh? We were looking down on that, yeah. weren't we? Yeah. Before we came down to the bridge. This used to be thing. a dirt road. Like, yeah. Recently gaveled it, I think. Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. Dude. So 42.9 k's, the final challenge to make it to fuel. Really? 42. Right. I reckon we can do it. Yep. If you hit reserve and you've got 20 k's to go, could get all the way there. Yep. <laughs> if, you can, if you can have it so that it just conks out as you're pulling in, okay. that'd be just great for the video. <laughs> <laughs> Just push it in for uh... Thirty-six k's to Nittagon. The Garys have got a belt it out in front of us, so if they run out of fuel, we'll catch up to them. station without even engaging reserve. <laughs> Another fantastic adventure, lots learned and I'm sure Matt isn't the only one looking forward to a break from the rain. Audio. You carried that thing with you the whole way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now as we reminisce. Remember that the one time burn five dollar joke in the blue shoe? <laughs> one classic, time. Classic, classic <laughs> <word>. <laughs>